You know, they say that dreams are real only as long as they last. Couldn't you say the same thing about life? This is the University of Oregon experience, and I'm going to talk about housing today. First, I'm going to talk about freshman housing, which is just basically on-campus housing. I'll also talk about why I recommend you don't say off-campus freshman year, but I'll keep it brief. And then after that, I'm going to go into off-campus housing for when you are not a freshman anymore, when you're an upperclassman, and some of the different apartments that you could stay at and some other options. I personally stayed in Justice Bean Hall freshman year, and my experience was pretty good. I will say, though, that a lot of people don't like Justice Bean Hall because the rooms are really small. And that was definitely the biggest drawback for me. I have a lot of stuff, so it was hard to fit it on my room. I have a guitar amp. I also have a few different guitars, and it was really difficult to fit them under my bed. And it ended up especially being difficult because there was a mini fridge in between our two beds. So I'll probably put a picture up so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But I stacked my guitar amp on top of the mini fridge. And that left pretty much almost no space to put anything else in. So if you do have a lot of stuff, Justice Bean might not be a good fit for you, but you can pull it off. I was still able to fit a shit ton of stuff in the room, but it was slightly difficult, you know, to access it. And it was really annoying. So if I were to do it over, I might not stay in Justice Bean. But that said, I did meet a lot of great friends. And I think that you'll probably meet good friends in any hall and you'll be like, well, I have such great friends. I would be so sad if I didn't meet them. So probably whatever hall you go to, it'll work out fine for you, so long as you talk to a lot of people and make sure you make some good friends. And then as for the other halls, you know, they all have their pros and cons. Um, some pros for Justice Bean is that they have a kitchen in the downstairs area. There's actually two kitchens, and you can actually make food. There's also a bunch of communal areas, so there's um, places where you can play, um, like video games. And there's also TVs where you could watch movies. That's really what I used it for is a couple times we went into the lobby area and watched TV, just me and a bunch of friends. So that's definitely a positive thing for Justice Bean Hall. One thing that's a bummer, though, about Justice Bean is that there's no dining option inside of the dining hall. Some of the other dining halls, in fact, pretty much all of them have somewhere to eat in the bottom floor of the dining hall. But just as being said of that, you know, as I talked about, there's the kitchens and there's also a few different study rooms you can go in. You can do homework in there, which is also really nice. So it just depends if you're okay with leaving your dorm, walking maybe like a minute out of your way to go to one of the other dining halls instead of being able to just go downstairs and eat in your hall. In my opinion, I don't even think that's a drawback. I think the study rooms and the kitchens are much nicer than actually going, um, you know, and having a uh, dining option in your hall. I'd much rather have the, the kitchen and the study rooms and have to walk about a minute or so. So now I'm going to talk about the dorms that are closest to Bean. Um, first, I'm going to talk about GSH, then I'll talk about Unthink. So for GSH, the dorms are definitely bigger. I've been inside of the dorms there, and I probably could have fit all my stuff. That said, I've only been in one, diff one dorm, and it was a three-person dorm, so I can't speak on the two-person dorms in GSH if there even are any. I've only been in three-person dorms. But like I said, the space looked like it was definitely big enough for to hold lots of stuff and to hold three people. So that didn't seem like an issue. And on the bottom floor of GSH, there's some pretty good dining options. There's like a pasta thing that you can get. And there's um, a place where you can, like a deli, I'd say, where you can get sandwiches and stuff like that. And then there's also uh, sort of a a buffet style things so it's sort of like chipotle where you walk through it and you pick stuff and it's um like polynesian food that's how i would describe it it also changes throughout the day so there's breakfast options there as well in the morning and that's the case with most of the dorms is that throughout the day it changes what's available but the only exception to that i'd say is some of the the food and unthink but it's not important like i said having good food in your hall is not super important What's important is that the rooms are big enough and whatever other perks the, the halls might have. Oh, also, I forgot to talk about the bathrooms. In Bean, the bathrooms are shared communally. So this varies from hall to hall. But in Bean, for example, the bathrooms are communal. You walk down the hallway, then you go into a specific bathroom that you want to use, right? And once you're in the bathroom, it's, it's pretty much all yours. There's not a bunch of showers. It's one room with one shower and a toilet. And a sink, you can brush your teeth, use the bathroom, and shower. That said, it does get kind of gross. Hair gets left in there. People do gross stuff like shave their pubes and just leave it in the shower. It's really gross. 
but there's a bunch of them in the hallway, so you can just go to the next one if it's really gross when you go to it. As for GSH, I believe that it varies. So there's like, you know, you can get a bathroom inside of your room or you could have some communal ones, you know, it just varies. And in terms of the unthank ones, so I'm gonna move over to unthank now. I talked about GSH, talked about the food and the room size. There's no study rooms and no kitchen. Bean is the only dorm that has study rooms and a kitchen. It does have tiny dorm stuff. And even if you're not in Bean, you can still use the study rooms. You just have to kind of linger outside the door if it's locked until someone opens it and you can just go in and use the study rooms. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about Unthank, which is a newer dorm. And Unthank has really nice food. It has really nice rooms. It has really big rooms. And it has very fancy bathrooms on the bottom floor can't really speak to the ones on the upper level. I, I know they're pretty nice, but I haven't really used them before. I've just kind of heard about them because I was not in Unthink and I never used the bathrooms up there. But on the, the communal lower floor, they're very nice, just where all the food is. In terms of the dining in Unthink, there's a bunch of different dining options. There's like four or five different restaurants. That's how I would describe them. They're like restaurants, except there's not like fancy tables to sit at, but the food is structured like a restaurant. It's not a buffet. It's not your standard college thing where you pay and then you go in and put stuff on your plate. It's very much like a restaurant in that there's a menu, you order something and then you get it. You can get it to go or you can sit down at the tables, which are just all throughout the, the bottom floor of Unthank. And you can, you know, you can just basically eat there or you could take it to your room and eat there. And like I said, the rooms are very big, but I will caution you about having a very big room because the dorms that have really big rooms tend to also play lots of music and everyone goes to those dorms to drink. So if you're in a big dorm where you have lots of space, just know that it might be really loud at night because everyone is like having people over. If that bothers you, then you might want to think about just being in Bean or something. If that doesn't bother you because you're just going to be out all the time anyway, that's you know, that's just something to think about, right? It just depends on, you know, what your plans are, right? For me, I like going out sometimes, but I want to be able to sleep when I have finals coming up or I have a test coming up. So that's why I decided to go stay in Bean. And then I'll also talk about some dorms that you don't want to stay at. You don't want to stay in Barnhart because it's just really far away from everything. And that sucks. I mean, if you do stay in Barnhart, you absolutely need to have a bike. If you don't have a bike, and you're just planning on walking to class from Barnhart, that's going to be terrible for you. You're going to waste so much time just walking to class. It's doable to stay there, but it's not It's not a pleasant experience because of the long distance. I've never eaten at Barnhart one time because it's that far away from everything else on campus. So just consider that, right? If it's that far away that I haven't even eaten there before because it's that far out of the way, it's probably not going to be fun to walk from that dorm. I've been to the dorm rooms though. They seem pretty nice. They're a little older, not quite as old as Bean though. Again, more spacious than Bean. Everything sounds spacious from, or everything seemed spacious from my perspective because I was in Bean. Then I'm gonna talk about right now, Carson. It has a buffet style, very classic dining thing in the bottom floor of it. The rooms are pretty big, pretty nice. Not quite as big as Unthink. Unthink definitely has the biggest dorm rooms. Um, and the fanciest food. I personally like the Carson buffet style food because you can just sit there for hours and eat and do your homework, which is really nice for me. I really like doing that. And lastly, I'll talk about Earl and um, I will talk about LLC a little bit. They're both pretty similar as far as I can, I'm concerned. I mean, there's difference between the arcs and stuff like that. Um, there's also, oh, I forgot to mention, there's also practice rooms in Unthink. So if you play an instrument and you want to have practice rooms that aren't in the music building, you might want to think about staying in Unthink just because you'll be able to go access those practice rooms very easily and just, you know, play without having to be in your dorm. Because I know as someone that plays an instrument, I didn't really want to be playing in my dorm room, right? You know, playing guitar loudly and whatever. I mean, probably it's a bigger deal if you're playing like a horn or like a wind instrument because then you definitely probably don't want to be playing in your dorm room. But for guitar, like I could just unplug my amp, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But if you're playing a wind instrument, you should certainly consider uh, maybe staying in Unthink just for that. Um, then I'll talk about uh, 
like I said, Earl. Um, the main reason that I didn't stay in Earl, even though it is close to everything, so uh, is just because of the arcs. Uh, it didn't really have any arcs that matched with my interests. I'll talk about that for a little bit now. So the arcs are basically just the interest groups you can be part of. Uh, there's like uh, business arcs, um, music arcs. There's just all sorts of stuff. There's like, you know, just whatever your interests are. So you can, you maybe want to consider that. I'm sure it changes from year to year, but you can, uh, you know, pick your dorm a little bit based on if you want to be in an arc or not. I wasn't in one, but I just wanted to be around people with similar interests to me. Okay, um, very lastly, I'm going to talk about proximity. So I already talked about why you shouldn't stay in Barnhart, just because it's so far away from everything. But I'll talk about proximity a little bit. So Earl and LLC are the closest to everything. They're like right in the middle of campus. Bean and Unthink and GSH are further away from everything. Barnhart's the furthest away. So don't stay in Barnhart. Bean and, and uh, you know, Unthink and GSH aren't too bad. They're fine. They're still pretty close to campus. They're just across the street from the track, if you know what that is. Uh, it is a little bit annoying to get all the way over to the science buildings and the business buildings and whatever from, from um, you know, uh, from Bean and whatnot, but it's not terrible. And it's still annoying to get there from the other halls too. So overall, that's just a breakdown of all the halls. Uh, if you're interested in more content, that's just about UO and about different stuff to do in Eugene, things you don't want to miss about University of Oregon. Then you might want to subscribe, and I, I talk about that all the time, you know. I make content about that sort of stuff that can help you. So just consider that. All right, I hope this helped you. Take care.